Will this be the brainiest tofu yet? Super Rich and Omega 3's walnut tofu has been highly requested. Like a year ago. Hello friends and not yet friends, welcome back to Will It Tofu here on Mary's Test Kitchen where we'll finally find out if walnuts can be tofuified. Please give this video a thumbs up and stick around to find out if it was worth the wait. Speaking of waiting, for you it'll be an instant, but I have to wait overnight for these raw walnut pieces to soak before starting the traditional tofu making process. If you're new, this is what we do. Take the traditional method of making soy tofu and apply it to non-traditional ingredients. A bit modernized, clearly I will be using this blender and not a traditional stone grinder to pulverize the plumped walnuts. And strain out the fibrous pulp with my trusty nut milk bag. Oops, did I say trusty? Looks like after four years of loyal service, the cotton string's finally thrown in the towel. But don't worry, we can manage without it. Trust me, I'm a professional. That's about all the milk I can get out of there. And the pulp reminds me of pumpkin seed pulp. I can feel the fat in it. It'll be perfect for turning into crispy crackers. In fact, I'll link my pumpkin seed cracker recipe in the description below. It pretty much works with any nut or seed pulp. Can you imagine the walnut version baked with its toasty aroma and maybe enrobed in chocolate? Enough dreaming, back to the main event, walnut milk. Walnuts have barely any starch, but to be consistent with the other episodes of Willet Tofu, I'm going to let this milk sit for 40 minutes to let any starch settle to the bottom of the bowl. It's been 45 minutes and there doesn't seem to be any change at all. Let's get on to cooking the milk. As seen in previous episodes, some milks require a coagulant to separate into curds and whey, like soy, red lentil, yellow split peas, and green split pea milk. Others separate themselves by simply heating them up, like pumpkin seed, hemp seed, sunflower seed, and chickpea milks. Which camp will walnuts fall into? Place your bets. Is that some separation? Yet those tiny curds are not clumping up. The whey isn't becoming distinguishable. So I think we're gonna require a coagulant after all. But first, Taste test. It's pretty good. It's mild. It's ever so slightly walnuty. It's a good sipper. But you're here for tofu, so let's keep going. Time for our trusty calcium sulfate, aka gypsum. This is the tofu maker's not so secret weapon. My friends, how do you feel about this? As for me, I have lots of feelings, and none of them good. Regardless, let's put the lid on and let the coagulant do its thing for 15 minutes. Or rather, do nothing, because this does not look promising, my friends. It's giving cream of walnut soup. Let's not be so easily discouraged. Perhaps this can be saved with my trusty reusable fine cheesecloth. about an hour. This is what we have. Looks like we're halfway to walnut yogurt at this point. I bet we could stir in some yogurt culture, give it the cozy treatment, and we'll have some of the most luxurious yogurt in the world. But I haven't given up on walnut foo yet. Have you? Let's press it. Or try to anyways with my favorite tofu press. Yes, this one is still my favorite. Link in the description if you want to check it out along with any other equipments I'm using. Lid on. There's no need to add extra pressure by twisting the knob. And it's going in the fridge overnight. The next morning, we've got a lot of liquid to pour off. This way is looking very milky. And it tastes pretty good. If you've had plain nut pods creamer, this is what it's reminding me of. Which makes me wonder. Eh, it tastes okay. It's rather bland. I'll leave it alone to see if it separates like most plant milks in coffee. Maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. For now, it's time to unwrap our pressed walnut foo. Oh, it's extremely soft. 
Wow. We've made expensive mud. Very luxurious mud, to be sure. I mean, look at how smooth it is. Because we used raw walnuts, never roasted, there's no aroma. The taste is ever so mildly nutty. Very rich and creamy, and not bad actually. It's so plain though, I promise if you tasted this and you didn't know it was made from walnuts, you would not be able to tell me which nut. But the blandness also gives it possibility. An enterprising cake maker could probably make something amazing with this. So tell me, what should I do with this fancy walnut butter? Drop your ideas in the comments below and I'll feature my favorite and or the most upvoted one in an upcoming video. As for the walnut whey creamer in coffee, it did separate after all. Sad but unsurprising. Strangely, it tastes like I used plain soy milk. Like not bad, but definitely not walnutty. In conclusion, will walnuts tofu? No, but they will butter. So I'll take that as a win anyways. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Thank you for everyone who has requested this video. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And now if you'll excuse me, I have not one but two jars of soaking legumes to keep me busy. Bye for now.